It's a whipsaw. Markets going up and down like a yo-yo. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update for Tuesday, August the 10th. And it's a wild one. You know, this is what illiquid markets will do is they will go up and down like a yo-yo and fly all over the place. Uh, very light volume, very little bit to do. Uh, but there, there were a few day trades today we made and we'll see. They're still in progress at the moment. But uh, overall, it's a it's a challenge. And of course, this update brought to you by our friends and partners at Family Farms. And Family Farms, are a great organization, has the same goals as we do, which is to help our farmers uh, take care of the, uh, the, the defense of the crop and let them do what they do best, which is farm. Uh, and of course, I'll have some more information later in this week for you. But in the meantime, Family Farms, great organization. Love being involved with them. In the meantime, you've got, at the moment, the Dow's up 150. We're long. The NASDAQ's down four. We're, sh- we're long. Uh, the S and P is up 11 points. We're long, and the Nas Nas the Russell is up about 10, and we are short. So we're long three, short one, as we've been for a while. And uh, you know, it's just a, it's a whipsaw, right? I mean, that's that's what it's called. Okay, it's a market that trades like a vacuum, up and down. And in the metals, precious metals, you've got uh, gold, which is up, which was much higher, is now lower again, which just shows you how weak it really is. Silver is having a meager bounce. Uh, you know, when you look at the bigger picture, and we are short both, and of course, platinum is slightly higher today. Actually, platinum is okay, 15 bucks higher. Uh, and we would be short, though, if we were trading it, but because of the liquidity, we don't. Um, and the dollar is is higher, okay, and we did reverse to the long side of the dollar uh, this morning. Okay, um, crude oil is soaring higher today, up about two bucks, and of course, we are short now, which we've been short for a few days. Uh, the uh where am i at here the natural gas is is higher again gee sh- surprise it just keeps going up uh copper is popping higher today and it's, again these have been we call this wide sweeping congestion or in other words we call it a pain in the ass I mean, that's what you got is is a market that is just you know kind of driving in both directions back and forth and net net one way or the other and of course in the bond market bonds and notes are lower uh which we are still long and and again at the end of the day that is the Oh, you watch here is 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 what to expect and, and where they go. Uh, and again, when you're trading with the trend, that's the best you can do is to put yourself in the right position. And that's what we do all the time. Uh, the Bitcoin uh, is is lower today a little bit. You know, not bad. I mean, it was up almost 3,500 yesterday. Uh, so certainly a little bit of a pullback is never a surprise when you get that move. I mean, listen, it's at 40. Uh, Bitcoin is at about 45,000 after the break and going below 39, th- excuse me, b- below 30,000 last week. So again, just remember, it's a big picture market and a big picture moves. And you're not worried about the day to day little swings that go back and forth. OK. Uh, and as we take a look at the uh, grain markets, uh, corn is flattish to lower. We're short. Beans are sh- we're short and they're higher. And wheat were long, and it's exploding higher by about 18 cents. Uh, the uh, meats, protein complex, feeder cattle is slightly higher, and we are long. Fat cattle is up a buck 30, which is nice, and we're long. And hogs are slightly lower, and we're short. And in the softs, you've got cotton exploding higher today, up a buck 18. Coffee, slightly higher. We're long both. Sugar is exploding. Uh, the highest rate I've seen, uh, this is a new highs, I think, 1931. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, cocoa is higher. We're long. And OJ is higher. And we are along there as well. Uh, you know, so at the end of the day, you know, everything's pretty good. The the markets are very challenging and very tough. And that's what we talk about the whipsaw. So it's, it's always best to be more conservative in these these times because it's a much bigger challenge. Remember, most people are out of town. Most big traders are out and Europe is closed. But that's our positions, and we are, we're always in in the portfolios, one way or the other. So that's our positions. That's where we stand. And again, it's a very challenging market. You got to be patient. You got to pick your spots and wait your turn. In the meantime, don't forget about our sponsors. Capital Trading Group is one of our brokerage partners. Now we have many brokers, but our preference for everybody is is, is CTG Capital Trading Group because they got great customer service because they handle all my accounts and they've got some tremendous managed futures products, including a. 
I had a couple of hedge models on gold and S&P, so check them out. Info.capitaltradinggroup.com forward slash Bubba. That's info.capitaltradinggroup.com forward slash Bubba. And of course, our equity and, and options broker is uh, Tradier, $10 a month. That's all I should have to say. But they got good customer service, great customer service. And they've got, we've got their APIs, which allows us to automate your trading if you choose to do so. You don't have to. You don't have to go to Tradier. But if you want to, you've got the potential for automation, which is on our, on our equity portfolios. And that is free. Okay. For members that are, that have joined, you get the auto trading for free in the equity portfolio models. And, you know, so you want to check them out. And of course, uh, our commodity report written by Andy Hecht, there ain't nothing better. And if you're a commodities trader and you're not reading this report, shame on you. Go see a physician. You need help. Okay. Check it out at, uh, bubbertrain.com, technomental. And um, our high school program at Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com forward slash Bubba Trading. It's Patreon.com forward slash Bubba Trading. And last Saturday, I did a hedging webinar. If you'd like to check it out, shoot me an email at Bubba at Bubba Trading.com. And this week, this Saturday coming up, the 14th, I'm doing a day trading on our futures, which we day trade day live every day. Uh, but I'm going to teach you how to do it. And then you can trade with me as well. In the meantime, uh, that'll be Saturday. If you want to get invited to that, either go to the website and it is posted, or you can email me and I'll send you a link. In the meantime, have a great day, everybody. And again, just be careful. This is not a market to be aggressive. You better learn to be a little bit passive because not every market is the, they're not all the same. And sometimes it's better to watch than it is to get involved. Have a great day, everybody. This is Bubba's Daily Update. We'll see you tomorrow.